Hi guys, Lord Master here, bringing you another game fresh off Steam today. Vagabond Dogs, uh, all new, always sometime monsters. Now, let's tell you, this game has got me kind of pretty excited. It's more kind of retro, a big game uh, graphics, but it is really looking good. It's actually on sale right now, uh, 20% off till the 28th, $7.99. It looks like a pretty good deal. I have not yet played any of this, so this is going to be all new to me, all new to you. But yeah, it's it's about morality. It's about choices. I mean, all your choices affect everything. So it's going to be, uh, I want you to warn you, there's, there's some, a lot of graphic stuff in here, apparently. So it's good. So I think it's going to be pretty good. It's all about choices, circumstances, and consequences. And all the reviews I've seen, everybody is loving it. Okay. I think we're going to have a good time. New game. Alright, God. It's got me pretty excited. Stop. Wait. Where the hell do you think you're running off to without me? I'm the boss. You don't make a move until I tell you what to do. And actually, it's kind of interesting because uh, RPG Minx got a uh, hold of an early build uh, a couple weeks ago, and this is not what I've seen. I mean, it's the same scenario playing out almost, but different other characters. So this, this should be interesting. I like this. Got it. Thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, then we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. No, you ain't finished working yet. There's plenty of people I still need killed. Okay, so I'm playing a contract killer. You don't get a say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. You check that pillage at the door when you signed up for this job. Here I make the rules. Here I decide what happens. That's what you signed up for, right? Oh, he does got a point. So I control him now. Okay, throw him this way. Wee! No, I gotta. I didn't think it'd be that easy. <laughs> Look, if it's more money you want, all you gotta do is ask for it. Name your price. I'll pay it. Or it takes to knock some sense back into your head. More money, please. I don't want any more of your money. I do. I already have more than I need. I can't understand why someone might not want to do this anymore. Ah, uh, it's just starting to grow a conscience. Alright, I'll play ball. How do I convince you not to make a very stupid decision right now? He might have you killed, dude. I don't know. What do I want? Oh my goddamn freedom back! I'm telling me what to do, where to go, who to kill. I'm deciding for myself from now on. And I was actually trying to, uh, I was going to do a live stream on uh, Twitch, but for some reason the OBS software, this game was just not coming up. I don't know what the deal was. But yeah, I was getting a black screen, so I have to do a regular recording, but I'm, so far I'm loving this. Get a grip, would you? You're nothing without me. Well, let's keep going. Now he's gonna fall. What did I just tell you? You ain't going anywhere unless I say so. You know I got a gun, right? Come on and quit playing around. You won't last a minute without me. He's probably gonna have somebody to kill you if. I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something we're all regret. Yeah, he's gonna have you killed, dude. Oh, we might get mugged. Excuse me, sirs. Got a minute? Or a dollar? Hard times all around. 
merely vagabond fuck. Get the hell out of my way. He's not really in your way, but... We don't have anything for you. I've got a dollar. Uh... Oh, I've heard that one before. Probably from you, too. Different day, different street. Who knows? Maybe we used to know each other. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Winding up back here again? Goddamn schizo. Are you fucked in the head? Get the hell out of my way. Right, we gotta keep things moving along. Before you go though, there's something I think you should take a look at. Oh, shit. What the hell is this? Well, you might say I've been expecting you. Does it feel familiar standing on this end of the barrel? Oh, it could be somebody, family member, back for revenge. Or would you feel comfortable, more, more comfortable with your own piece drawn? Go ahead. I'll wait. Oh. I still got the drop on. Uh, that's right. Aim right between my eyes. What the hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? What do you say to giving mine a spin? I didn't watch too much of RPG Minx's video because I didn't want to ruin the story because I'm like, oh, the story looks so good. I don't know what this fool's smoking, but if he doesn't put that gun down right now, you put a hole in his head. Don't tell me who to kill. Uh, not my dad. Of course, you can hurry this along if you like, and we can all be done with it if you wish. Like any of this matters anyway. I want to tell you a story though, one about the many choices we all make. At the end of it, you can decide what to do. Ah, uh, so I think this is leading into the, this is almost like the epilogue part. So maybe you're that, you're going to be playing as that guy. Huh, this is interesting. The only rule in the game? Let me finish. No interruptions. Then the choice is yours. Hmm, I love where this is going. Well, we can pull the trigger right now. Sounds a lot less time consuming, doesn't it? I wonder if you could. <laughs> pull the trigger right now. Uh, game over. Move along. Either way, the choice is always yours. I think I want to listen. If you want to put down the gun, that gun down, fine. Talk fast. I think we shot him, it might just be go. There are many roads between yours and mine. But all roads start from the source. You ever been dragged to a party by someone? What if that party was life itself? Led by the nose? Barely wanting to take part? Did you even have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you. But would you know this uh, opportunity when it knocked? Fair weather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows this best. One such man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for someone special, important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. Not be looking for me, sir. Whether it was the right choice or not, that's still up for debate. That night they toasted ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. Hmm, am I that guy maybe? Oh, I'm that guy. That looks like Bill Cosby. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna finally go around. I can, can talk to people. Come on, hurry up! Or did you change your mind? You can't invite all these people over and just let me... And leave me to take care of them, Larry. Oh, you're already nagging me. Oh, God. They're all weird. Why can't you have normal friends? They're all work friends. Wait, no. He might not... I think he's more... He's not black, he's like... 
Deep Asian? Uh, I think Asian kind of looks like. Riders, artists, wannabes. You know, like the one I was telling you about. Boss wants me to sign this one by next week, but I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. Ah, uh, an agent, like book dealing thing. Okay. Well, just pick someone who's going to do a good job. I don't want you getting fired over some fuck up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Oh, yeah. Okay, I love you too. Wow, I, uh, I'm already thinking. This needs to be a more open relationship. Okay, let's go talk to you. Great party, Larry! Really glad I can make it. Well, I'm glad you're here too. Did I tell you about this red wine I found? Give me a second, I'll go get some for you. We can toast it, it'll be great. The wife says I can't have more than one tonight. Ah, oh, we're married already. Oh, this, this life is going quickly. Then again, I'm a sucker for a good vintage. Uh, I need to uh, unload some stress. That, that, that wife of his is already starting to stress me out a little bit. We're going to toast. Alright, let's drink. Give me a second to run to the patio. There's someone I want you to meet. I was happy to meet the ball and chain. Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be back from the patio before you know it. Oh, okay, so, yeah, it's kind of like almost a chain of uh, events here. Yeah, because he talked to her. Now she's going to go over to the patio. Oh, I love this. I do love this. Okay, where's the patio? Is that the patio? That's part of the patio. I wonder, can I talk to... So you must be the writer that my husband was talking about these past few weeks. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Larry mentioned me, huh? You're all I could talk about the other night. You're writing a book with your friend? Yeah, my buddy Sam. He told you all that? I'd love to show Larry an outline. You think he'll have a minute or two tonight? You don't want the minute. You want the contract. Trust me, be upfront about it. You'll get further. Well, I guess there's no harm in asking. Hmm. Okay, patio, patio. This one's for the patio. Well, I won't type that, dude. Hey! Oh, sorry. Hey, still doing your little hottie? You two are such a nice couple. Yeah, Kevin. Kevin's dreamy. Still together. In fact, that's what I'm looking for now. I'll talk to you later. Okay, we're looking for Kevin. Right. Don't you? Don't none of you look like a Kevin. Let's go to the patio. Oh, I don't know my. That looks like Kevin. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke on to him. Is that my guy? Must be my guy. He's waiting on us. We gotta go though. He's waiting on us. We're going to toast the bottle we brought. That's amazing. What are you waiting for? This is a perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam were working on. Do you think Sam will mind me pitching our book alone? I mean, I'd be kind of pissed if I was left out in the negotiations. You can worry about that later. If you don't get up in there now and butter them up now, you two will be drafting forever. I guess you're right. we got to make it happen first. Come on, you got the gift? Shit! We forgot to sign the card! Here, give it to me. I'll sign it first. Oh, so this must be the girl. Okay. No. Gonna go... Got some common here. Gonna call you Sarah. Points for originality. I'll think of better on the next one. Okay, my turn. And you, sir, are an Alex. You look like an Alex. You really do. Alex and Sarah. Like the power couple. Cheers, Alex and Sarah. Let me see that for a second. Ah, it's perfect. 
All right, Alex, let's go. Wait, kiss me first. Aw, good luck. All right, now we're in a posse. Hmm, what are you two leopards doing? Having fun tonight? We're just sitting inside for a drink. The party's pretty nice, actually. You should talk to the host. He's a cool guy. I'll give it a thought. You two go have fun. Aw, cute little puppy. Time some more gas. Why are you two headed in such a rush? No time for your favorite person in the world? I expect this from Sarah. Alex, you know better. Sorry, Lauren. No time to chat. We're running in for a drink. We'll be around later for sure. Fine. Just no avoiding me. I miss you guys. Well, I better go in there now. This game's making me feel pressured. Ba boom. Boom. All in the soundtrack right now. Boom, 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 boom. Always, sometimes, monsters. Yes, I am definitely loving this game. So, Larry, before we toast... Let me guess. You got a book you wanted to pitch? Just hear me out. No need, Sarah. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff. You've got talent, a lot of potential, but you're rough. I want to put a good order with the boss, see if we can get you in advance. Yeah! That, that's crazy! Seriously, thank you so much. I'll get you something to show him in the morning. This is too exciting. Let's toast. To ambition. To success. To getting rich. I'll toast. Uh, to great partners. To world domination. I think to the future. To the future. It really didn't matter who set things in motion. The landslide had started long before that night. This version of the story needed a hero, though. Would this be the one? No. Um, yeah. I think I'm happy. So far, I don't... One year later. Uh-oh. Dubs down apartment. Choice is an evaluation of cost and benefit. Circumstances dictate the evaluation. Consequences take care of the rest. In this system, there can be no right or wrong. Yeah, this is one year later. It looks like a one bedroom apartment. Where's Alex? It's only a bed for one person, pretty much. Oh man. What time did I get in last night? Shit! Looks like my pet, my people sleep monitor got reset. I gotta go to sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to earning my one month Ceridian Master Sleep Achievement. Let me just cycle through the modes and reset this thing. There we go, all set. They say the longest journey starts with a single step. One year later, but uh, this is... Dirty clothes are the least of my concerns right now. I think I like what I'm wearing right now. Well, I want to change it. Uh, what is that letter though? Looks like there's a few notes under my door. Uh oh Your rent has not been received as of this notice. As a result, and according to your lease, this amount must be paid immediately, or you will be 
evicted at the convenience of your landlord. Your current balance is five hundred dollars. That's it. That's not really. They're probably in New York or L.A. That's pretty good rent. It's like rent control. His entire balance will be paid immediately to avoid further action. It's a serious matter, and your urgent attention is required. Failure to act in a prompt fashion will leave you responsible for additional charges such as court and attorney fees. Your credit rating will all may also be affected. Please speaking with building management as soon as possible to avoid further issue. Sincerely, management. Thirty days will do. Pay up, deadbeat. Oh, double explanation points. Uh oh. It's always something, isn't it? Came to see if you wanted to get coffee. Best work at the Phoenix, but you were asleep. Uh, don't be late, man. I vouch for you, and my manager hates slackers. So, what happened to the book deal? Oh, that's what I'm wondering. Well, at least I've got a job for today. You got your apartment key. You got your bank card. Looks like we're off to... Oh, oh man. In their back way, I, hate I try to avoid people in the hallways. Alright. Where is it? I know what's in here. Excuse me, Mrs. Tellywalager. Oh, pardon me, Sarah. Am I in your way? I got so distracted looking through my purse for my little calendar. There never is enough time in the day, you know? Oh, I'm gonna be nice to the old lady. I hope karma's good in this game. I know what you mean. There's never enough time to do everything you want to. Heck, I don't even have time to pay my rent these days. You seriously think I'm done for this time? Why is your boyfriend? Things, uh, didn't work out. It's just me now. Oh, I, I named Alex and everything. I got emotionally invested. Ah. That's a real shame. You're such a good kid. Tell you what, if you need some money, why don't you come buy my place later today? Whoa. No, Granny, I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going. But okay, we'll keep this in mind, but I don't know. I'm hosting a little get-together tonight, and the place needs to be spotted. Oh, you need a maid. Mother. It'd be lovely to have some help. Uh, I'd do the right thing. Um, okay. She's gonna pay me like five dollars or something. Thank you for the offer. I can use all the help I can get. Well, you know where to find me. Just come by any time today. Don't wait too long, though. I'll get it all done by myself. Have a good day, Sarah. I hope you find what you need. Alright, so she's in that apartment. 40. Uh, I can't really see. That's the first one left, okay. The apartment lobby. Cheap ass landlord. The life's been a problem for months. Sounds like the landlord's on the phone. With these lights off, I'm gonna be able to slip out of here undetected. Ah! Oh. Well, there you mangy punk! I think I wouldn't notice you just because the lights are off. Ah, oh, shit. I had that clabong clapped off thing uh, it stole last week. Yeah, these guys got a pretty good, uh, Vagabond Dog's got a pretty good sense of humor, I think. Where the hell do you think you're going? A lot of trouble, punk. You're a whole month late on your rent. I'm not in the business of shouldering deadbeats. You're gonna pay me what you owe, or am I gonna have to toss your ass on to the curb? You're serious about evicting me, huh? Uh. Well, that's kind of ambiguous. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, man. You know I'm good for it. I'm expecting a check for my publisher real soon. Seem part of your hero, so just relax. Ah, uh, there's no check. Look, the check's gonna be here soon. It's gotta be here soon. Just give me until the mail's been delivered, okay? I don't care if you gotta go call your sugar daddy. You're out of time, little girl. 
Pay me $500 by the end of the day or you can consider yourself officially homeless. Oh, shikey. I gotta get 500 bucks. In fact, you know what? Hand over your key right now. You get back from me when you pay your bills. Oh. You gonna give me that key or what? I know you got it in your pockets. You really want me to hand over my key? Yeah, I'm just gonna give him. Ah, uh, I gotta get 500, but I'll give him the key. I mean, he could lock me out anyway. If... Fine, I think I have it on me here somewhere. And a beeper. Oh my god, who carries it? This must be old, because who carries a beeper? Pawn punch starter. <laughs> and a Kickstarter joke, alright. And over my apartment key. Oh god, oh no. Assume when you got the money, I'll let you back into your room. See you later, deadbeat. Why don't you get 500 bucks in one day? What a fucking asshole. $500 by the end of the day? I can do this. I've already got work at the Phoenix. I can go help Mrs. Tallywagger. Uh, I think we'd probably go to the Phoenix. for The Phoenix has got to be a better chance of getting money. Mrs. Tallywagger is going to give me like 5 bucks. I ain't going to cut it. I need $500. Norn Dubstown. 100 bucks, man. I don't know. Hey, Sarah. What's going on, girl? I'm good, Bellinger. Hang around like usual, I see. I got no need to walk around when I can see the whole city from right here. Sounds productive. Well, I've got to hustle. My landlord's worth 500 bucks by the end of the day, and I don't know how I'm going to get it. Dang, that sucks. Well, I'm broke, so I can't help you with cash. I did find this rare indie hero's figure in the trash this morning while I was digging for breakfast. Well, you might be homeless. <laughs> it's probably worth a few bucks if you want to pawn it off, or you could try and get all 60 of them like me. Thanks, Belly. At this point, anything helps. If you ever get lost, come see me. I know these streets like the back of my red golf shirt. Probably the only shirt you own. Is that a mouse? Ah, eek! Where's the phoenix? Is that vagabond dog? That's funny. That's a homeless guy. We're gonna avoid the homeless guy. Ah, vagabond dog. This is great. Hey there, name's Nigel. Do you work here? Uh, no. I walked into your office. I just kind of walked in. I've been looking for the guys that run this place. I heard they got a neat little game idea they've been making. Oh, I do love it. Shameless self-promotion. Yes, I can. I can't help you with that. I'm just passing through and wandering in, in any building I can. <laughs> They're probably down at the coffee shop. There's one thing that's certain in life, it's that game developers love coffee. I don't know, I'm a Mountain Dew man myself. I mean, who doesn't like coffee? Hello kitty. Kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Ah! Robot cat from Bagbound Down. Hit arcade gun. Cold Line Toronto. Uh, funny. I'm gonna change poke around here, but I, I have a feeling like time is passing somehow. The old cookie factory used to be one of the best places in the work for to work in town before it closed down. I should try to find that dog some food. Well, okay, that's true. I could be nice to the doggy here. Grocery store. Oh. Hey, there's a gas leak, so I can't let you pass. Should be cleared up in a day or so. Guess we can't go any farther there. It's a nice little informative thing, but it keeps me from the rest of the map. But that's okay. The bacon barn. 
Oh my god, I'm in like the most homeless town I've ever seen. Charlie's Dick's Pond Plus. Oh, I love it. The Krusty Kreme Coffee Shop. Gloom City Arcade. Oh man, we could really use a map in this town. Apparently there's no traffic. The Daily News Times. Like seriously, we gotta do some major drug dealing or something, because otherwise... This is the Phoenix. This is the hottest club in town. I've been lined up all day long. I'm not moving for anything. There's only two. Okay. Hey, cutie. You look like a girl with good taste. What do you think of my new dress? It cost me a fortune, but I think it's hot. Looks great. What other what girl would say that? Like, <laughs> be a dick. Uh... Yeah, it looks great. Definitely worth the money on a body like that. Oh, I like the way you talk. My name's Haley, by the way. So, um, I was looking for somebody to do me a favor. I don't see why it couldn't be you. Man, I got time for favors. Well, that depends on what you need. You know Dirty Don over by the pawn shop? Oh, I, I knew somehow we were already getting involved in drug dealing. I just, I knew this was going to happen. I heard he's got these tabs, happy pills, I think he calls them. They make you feel like you're having the most orgasmic sex with God. Sounds intense. If I give you 50 bucks, can you go pick some up for me? I know it's silly, but I won't lose my place in line. Um, uh, we need money. We need money. Okay, this is... I'm not really dealing drugs. I'm just a uh, curry. I'm a courier. That's... All right, deal. How many pills should I ask for? I should buy ten pills, so bring them all back. I might even share it with you if we party later. Sounds easy. I'll be right back. Wait, there's one more thing. Don's got some trust issues. You're gonna need this. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, what's that? It's just a little message for me to him. You know, to prove that you're cool and not a cop and all that, right? Well, obviously. Keep it sealed until you see him or he'll be suspicious. When you get there, open it and read it out to him. Simple stuff. Gotcha. You have fun waiting in line. There's two people in line. It's the middle of the day. Club doesn't open until night. Okay. Alright, got time for... I think I spotted Dirty Dawn already. He, he, he looks like a Dirty Don. Maybe he's... Hey, hey, welcome to Dirty Don's Popcorn Stand, where I sell fresh popcorn and absolutely nothing else. Can I buy some popcorn? I guess I could eat some popcorn. I'll take a bag. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, no, I do not have any popcorn for sale today. I'm uh, all out right now. What? Why do you have popcorn today if you don't even sell popcorn? You asked too many questions, do you know that? Hey, hey, welcome to Don. Oh, we already read through that. You sell anything else? I got this envelope or something from this girl I'm supposed to be seeing you for. Well, what are you waiting for? Open it, damn it. It says. Well, go on, read it. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with a little bitty waist and a round thing in your face. <laughs> Whoa, buddy, that's enough. You don't have to sing the rest of the song. I know why you're here now. That's a weird drug code. What the hell was that? Oh, all my orders come in. Come as hip hop lyrics. Help keeps the cops figure things out. I, I like your style, sir. It sounds like you need some happy pills. Now what's a girl like you need happy pills for? They're for a friend. I need 50 bucks worth of them prano. No problem at all. I was just thinking though, how would you like to save 30 bucks? Uh oh. 
Same number of pills and everything. That math doesn't add up. What's the catch? Oh, nothing shifty or anything like that. They're just local artisan pills. They're made from these eco-friendly toxic... Oh, no, I don't like this. I'm no genius, but I'm pretty sure that toxins aren't all that safe for human consumption. You hit, but I also said eco-friendly. It totally balances the thing. Dude, that... I'm not a chemistry expert, but I'm pretty sure that you shouldn't do that. Well, I guess that makes sense. So what'll it be, loyal patron? Spend 50 bucks and get what you asked for? Or spend 20 and save the whales? Give me the... You... I don't trust that. That's... That sounds like I'm gonna go to jail for killing somebody. I'll take the good stuff. I don't know how my friend feels about whales. Well, it's each their own, I suppose. Yeah, that just sounded like a bad idea. Some shifty drugs from... You look scary. My therapist suggested going to the theater might help cheer me up, but honestly, it seems like a big waste of time to me. Yeah. That guy was a little shifty. A little shifty. Okay, let's go back. You're not a cop, are you? This feels like a bust. So, did you get the stuff yet, honey? I want to try a hippie pill before the show. Yeah, I got you the good stuff. You're going to treat tripping balls for sure. Glad we did not give her the bad drugs. Do not eat the black rope licorice. Woo! I feel all warm and fuzzy. I just want to touch you all over. Why don't you take the spare key to my flat? Maybe you can get up to something after the show. It's just across the street. You can't miss it. Hey, I'll think about it. Don't keep me waiting, though. I want to tear into you. <laughs> wow. Okay. This is Dubstown. This is a crazy town. This is a crate. Is that a raccoon? A raccoon's running the streets. Okay, let's get into get to work. I've had a good a lot of good memory memories here at the Phoenix. Dark Kev should be waiting for me inside. Yeah, let's get to work. We need money. You see the bouncer? Whoa, lady. We ain't open yet. Excuse me? Said we're closed, woman. We're expecting a crew. Where's Tarkeef? Look, I'm working here today. Is Tarkeef around? There's a ditch that everyone's been waiting on then? Tarkeef's in the main room, so I'd get my ass over there if I were you. I'll stand here and watch you from behind. Oh. Really? No quality in the work for oh. Maybe we can go back. It must be in the back, maybe. maybe. There's the back. Because that doesn't make a lot of sense. We'll figure out. Oh, we gotta go back in and figure this out. Because there is, like, no way to get in there. Have fun work while I sit here and flex my big 22 inch pythons. Oh, okay. Just didn't show up enough. There we go. You look like the Keef. And the dead rise. You were late too. Did Benny give you any trouble at the door? No, he let me right through. Some bouncer he is. How you been? You pumped for the show? I'm nervous. He's a DJ. Looks like a DJ. Really nervous. This is my first big show since I split with Viper. I don't know how well it's going to go without her. I know what you mean. Now a day goes by where I don't wonder how indefinitely my life would have been if he hadn't left so suddenly. So Alex left just out of the blue. Jesus, we're on this shit again? Look. X left you what? A year ago? It's time to move on, don't you think? You're right. 
It's just not that not that easy for me. I don't know if you noticed, but life's been kind of shitty for me ever since he left. How long are you going to blame him for everything? Seriously, you got to take some responsibility. Remember, he left you because of what you did. What did I do? Oh, man, something must have gone pretty bad. You know what? Fuck you! Not all of us were happy to be rid of our ex. Not all of us stated self-destructive junkies. Not cool, man. What I'm saying is that life since life, that since I left Viper, I'm realizing how is the choices we make that define us. Am I worried about the choices I've made? Totally. Am I terrified that my music's been shit since I quit? Sure. At least I made a choice, man. Eh, you'll be fine. I think it'll be okay. You'll be fine. Everyone's really proud of you for getting off that stuff. Not everyone, man. Seems like my fans prefer when one of my sounds all fucked up. <laughs> Part of me thinks they're right. They don't stay off the drugs, man. We don't want to be doing drugs. That's nonsense. Everyone's just scared of change. Your manager makes a lot of money from you. I'm sure you sound fine. I appreciate it, but you haven't heard me since I kicked the stuff. I'm just nervous is all. I kinda wish I had something to calm my nerd. No! No, sir! No, Dr. Keith. Oh well, my burden to bear. Here's the layout for the equipment. I'm trying to follow it exactly. I got enough enough to worry about tonight. And since you slipped in, we don't have time to redo anything, so make sure you get it right the first time. Oh. Okay, okay, we got speaker, speaker. Two, I almost wanna write this down. I'm gonna write, write this down once I got. I'm a little, I don't want to fuck this guy's life up. Big speaker. Little speaker. Big speaker. I am literally actually writing this down. Okay, little speaker that way. Piano keyboard right here. Drums. This is how I always do this the guitar. You gotta get paid tonight, man. I don't... No one's gonna pay you. I, I've known people who've done roadie work. I don't think he's gonna get paid. She's gonna get paid 500 bucks for this, but you never know. Best option we've got so far. So, mic stand right here. And then four big speakers right here. Okay, I've got this. Alright, we got this. gears in these boxes here. All we gotta do is dig the right stuff out on the stage in the right place according to the layout. Seriously, a monkey could do this job, so you better not mess it up. A hundred... We are... You don't understand, man. I need 500 bucks today. Get it done perfectly, and I'll give you 100 bucks, okay? I'll do my best, Captain. I'll head backstage and work the spotlights for you. Hundred bucks that leaves us with a. I haven't checked what's in my bank account though. Maybe I got some money in there. I don't know. I don't know. You picked up the drums. Oh, okay. So. Let's Wait. It's not look like the layout's supposed to be. I don't know. Maybe piano. Drums. Guitar stand. Oh shit, this is confusing. Oh god, this is confusing shit. No, don't. It's confusing. Alright, well. We have to make our best guess here. Put the plants over there, maybe I can look real quick. The drums up there and the piano. So that would be three, five things. Okay. 
Okay, ah, I don't want to pick this wrong. You're carrying the drums. I know you're trying to make this easy for me, but I'm stupid. So, we're gonna say the drums look... Okay, I'm gonna set the drums right here. I think... Yes. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Okay, so we got the drums. He picked up the bass. Oh, well, there are two guitars. You didn't say which one was the bass. You're carrying the bass. Uh, I'm not familiar enough with the guitars to know which one is the... Oh! God, I'm not gonna get 100 bucks. This is... Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay. I'm gonna guess usually the bass guitars... Hmm. Okay, okay, we're not gonna... I'm not gonna panic. I think bass guitar would be to the right. I hope I put it together right. Can I change it? No, that's set in stone, man. That's set in stone. Oh, Jesus. He picked up the guitar. So, the guitar would be... to the left. I, oh, I hope this is right, because I'd be next to the mic stand, I think, because you're playing and you're... Yeah. I hope that's the only thing I could probably think I could mess up. This better be a damn good show. Hey, I'm trying to work. I'm working fast. Come on. Hey, hey, Sarah. Come give me a hug. Viper? What are you doing here? I thought you and Dark Keith split. Sure, it's cool with you hanging out here before the show. Trust me, if I knew, if I know Dirk Keefe, he's missing me like crazy right now. He probably told you so, hasn't he? Uh, dude, you're not, you're not fucking up Dirk Keefe's show tonight. I gotta be a bitch. I'm sorry, but you're probably junked off high off your ass anyway. So, no, he hasn't. And said a word about you, to be frank. I hate to break it to you, but I think you two are splits fills for good this time. I was no one you're lying, Sarah. I saw my baby is super nervous, which is why I bought him a present. Oh no, 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 no. You get the get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Are you crazy? Are you out of your goddamn mind? darkie has been doing so well. What the hell is wrong with you? Hey, I'm not forcing heroin. Heroin, really? No. No. Hey, I'm not forcing the needle in his arm. Nobody is. He's a big boy and he doesn't need you making his decision for him. If he's nervous about the show and this helps calm him down, then who are we to get in this way? You are a bad girlfriend. Bad girlfriend, Viper. Well, let's get it from somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. I, can, I think we can all agree. Get the fuck out. You know what? Get the fuck out of here right now, you goddamn junkie! The key left you for a reason! What don't you understand about that? Go fuck yourself, Sarah! You don't know the first thing about the key, what he needs, or what he loves. You don't know a fucking thing about love. Good luck, luck with the fucking show. My baby bombs, it's all your fault. Did she drop the heroin? What a psycho. Um, uh, no, I, I picked up some pills, but I gotta draw the line at heroin. Better leave that there. I am not, no, uh, we're not getting involved in heroin. Kids, just take that advice, just, that's a bad idea. Picked up the microphone. Okay, now that drum roll with Viper made me forget what I was doing here. Okay, God, I think I might have mixed up the, my, uh, I hope so. They both literally look the same. Come on. Yep. Okay. This is coming to get. I think this could be good. 
Can I cable A too? Wait, that's not right. It's looking good so far, I hope. Oh man. If he bombs because he's not carrying... <laughs> if he's not on drugs and everything, this is going to be... Home. You picked up the keyboard. Oh man. I don't get paid. This is going to suck. Set, the, set up the equipment here. Yeah, I don't think that... Uh, our check from our uh, book is going to work too. I'm working up a sweat here. Well, that's about as good as it's going to get, I guess. Oh, Dark Heath, don't hate me. Wait, how'd it go? Take a look for yourself. Come, please. Well, what do we have here? No! We get a lot of trouble if someone found a bag of heroin on the floor during the concert. Dark Heath, do not. Oh, jeez, don't hate me. Don't hate me. I tried to do it right. Damn fine work. Yeah! Woo! Alright, I did it right. Yes! It's so rare that I get to walk on stage with everything just the way I like it. Seriously, kudos to you. Here's a hundred bucks I promised you. You earned every penny of it. Thanks, man. Anything to help with the show? I can always count on you. Benny said Viper swung by earlier. Did you talk to her at all? Was she looking for me? Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did stop by. Really? She didn't leave anything here, did she? Yeah, you've already got it. That crazy junkie nearly took off my head with her bag of smack. You sure you don't want me to hold on to that stuff for you? I can get rid of it for if you like. I'll be okay. Seriously, I appreciate the concern though. Stay, don't do that heroin. I was gonna come across it again sooner or later. Alright. I like you, Dark Keep. I don't want you to do bad shit. Well, I said I'd go get ready for the show. Free to come back to the club a little later if you're interested in work and working coat check. Or short staffing could use you. Just talk to that to Benny when you're ready to get started. Hey sir, you're a good friend. Aw, oh, I feel good now. Dude, if you're doing that I guess that's a day's work. I hope I made the right call with Darkeef. He's really been there for me this past year. Uh, I'm gonna go check the men's room. I seriously am. You can do this, man. You don't need that crap anymore. You don't need her anymore. Keep going, Darkeef. Oh, Sarah. What are you doing? Yeah, I did, but... Man, I want to hug. I want to hug it out. Come on. Yeah, I did. You're right, though. You don't need that junk anymore. You're a goddamn rock star, not a junkie. Hey, thanks, Sarah. Been a good, good friend, this the friend this past year. Even when your chips are down, you've been there for me. Thanks for looking out for me. No problem. You did the same for me. Like, I need a place to stay tonight? Darkeith seems to be in his own world. Shut out and see if I come with some more cash. Oh, man, I need money. I can't believe we get my decision to investigate this toilet. <clears throat> use the toilet? I probably need to use the toilet today. But there are... I think here puts up a bunch of garbage and you use condom. At least I used a condom. But there are no... Anybody else notice the complete lack of any sinks? Oh, why is the bathroom in? So this is unsanitary. Sanitary. Okay, all right, we got a hundred bucks. It's a hundred, I got a hundred bucks, but oh man. I fucking want to have fun working while I sit here and flex my big 22 inch pythons. All right, so that's apparently, what a strange night. I still can't believe Viper showed up like that. Maybe I should stick around for the concert and help with the coat check. Then again, Mr. Tellwagger did ask for my help. Yeah, maybe we'll go back to the apartment. 
and see if we, I'm staying away from you guy. You're weird. It's getting kind of evening. I see if that check came in. Maybe that check came in. Yeah, oh, is there ATM? We should check how much cash we actually have. 1119, still my pin. I should change that sometime. Don't even think of his birthday every time I check my bank balance. Oh, that's sad. Uh, one. Uh, oh, it's not my fault. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. I get. Oh, crap. It would be 11. Welcome, sir. Ah, oh, I got it. What do we got? $13. Well, F me, we're in trouble. Looks like they're hiring a new bartender. This experience with alcohol is a must. Well, I've got no problem with that. Oh, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Well, let's go in the grocery store a second. I want to see... Should I buy some meat or what? This is all going to be cooked first. Okay, it's not going to be any good. Can't sell anything. No. Maybe there's some dog food. There's got to be some dog food in here. They have pre wrap sausage, but they don't have pre wrap bacon. Some people like 1%. Some people like whole. Milk choice has always been chocolate. I do like chocolate milk because I'm kind of semi intolerant sometimes. If I knew how to cook, these scallop for some lamb shanks might actually be appetizing. I'm not gonna find some dog food then. Oh. Yeah, that's clickable. Oh man. Did you get some dog food? Can I interest you any flowers or produce today? No. Did you find everything you're looking for? Cigarettes. Auto scratch card. Oh, that almost makes me. <laughs> oh, man, I don't. I need to get 500 bucks, but I don't think I'm gonna get 500 bucks. I almost feel like it's not gonna happen at this point. So this evening, I will do. We'll get some good karma, maybe. And a scratch ticket, because yeah. Kinda how my luck is going. Time to use a scratch card. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Come on, baby. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Damn it, nothing. Ow! Oh. I do like that interface with her and Alex, that's pretty cool. Blank pages for my journal. Your ass needs to get writing. Hey there, little doggy. How you doing, girl? Buy you some food. Woof, 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 girl. Hi, girl. Just come a bit closer now. Munch, munch, munch. What did he leave? Huh. Looks like the dog dropped something. Looks like the lock the dog was wearing fell off. Huh. Let's see what that was. A 
something, huh? Looks like we got a stamina bar too. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep something to keep track of. The mailman's come by. No mail for me today. Oh shite. The box. What's in the box? What's in the box? It's got my key too. Wonder Miss Teller still needs my help cleaning her apartment. Hope I'm not too late to lend a hand. And uh, then dark I could work for coat check nine, I could use the money. Yeah, but we told her. Who could that be? Hello, who's there? It's me, Sarah. Oh come right in. Hey, Mr. Telewagger, I'm here to clean up. Oh, you're a little late for that, Sarah. That's right, though. I managed to get it all done myself. So I'm very glad you came by. You're such a good kid. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad then. I'm glad, I'm glad you don't need me then. Oh, I got stupid for a minute. I'm just about to sit down for dinner. Would you care to join me? Hmm, I was thinking of going to work coat check down at the club. I gotta go. I'd be nice, but I gotta go. I gotta go, unfortunately. No time to skip out on work, I'm afraid. I think I'll have to pass, unfortunately. That's quite alright, I understand. Take care, Sarah. Yeah, unlike you, I gotta pay the bills. Let me go check. Would I make another 50 bucks, probably? Oh, man. We have to get the other girl's place, even though I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm keen on doing that. I'm avoiding you because... I don't know, let's go see what's going on. Hey girl, you mind my ride? Yeah, it's a pretty sweet truck, but I do say so myself. Maybe we'll take it for a spin some time together. Oh shit. No. Yo, hit me later. I gotta go. What was that about? He's all out of product. Oh, look who's back. I really hope you did a good job setting up for the show tonight. A good shoot is more horny legs for me to share my secret thoughts with. Wow. So I guess you still want to take over the code check tonight? You ready to get started? Yeah. Sure, man. Let's do it. Folks will be coming in your job to hang their damn jackets up. When you do that, you'll give them a ticket for a retrieval later. Oh crap, this is gonna remember in crap. Oh no. Only get paid in tips. So try to avoid wasting everyone's time by remembering where you stored each coat. Also, try not to be the total jackass you usually are. We, well, people don't like tipping jackasses. Lastly, don't you even think about stealing from people's pockets. There's no security back there, but if I find out you're a thief, I'll throw you out in your damn ass. Right, now get to work. Okay, oh, I got first lady. Red hat. They finally let us in. I thought they were gonna make us wait out there. It's worth the wait. I'll go hang your coat up. Your ticket number is 65. I'm writing this stuff down. I tell you, I gotta write this stuff down. I'm sure this is random every game too, so. Be his Zack Strategy God. That's coat number 65 right there. Okay. Green coat. Okay, the next girl, it's Haley. Hey, it's you! Thanks for making that delivery earlier. Wink, wink. I already have feel all warm and glowy, if you know what I mean. Yeah, have fun. Chicken number is 66. So the second one is 66. Oh, okay. No, that's, okay, that's pretty easy. Just gotta remember. That's Haley. And we're gonna go. Oh. Coat number 
66. And they all look the same. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Dude, hit! Go check our like, valets before close. <laughs> oh, we gotta suck up. So true, bro. I'll take care of your jacket. Take number 67. Okay, so it's 65, 67, 66. Okay, don't steal, don't steal. And I probably should. Oh. There you are, deadbeat. Oh shit, he tracked us down. I thought you'd skipped out on me. You better come see me after the show and you better have my money. Dude, I only got like a hundred bucks. Remember, if you don't have 500 bucks before you come home, you'll be sleeping on the streets like the scum of me you are. He tracked me down through this entire city for $500. Oh my god. What kind of music is this anyway? Kids today are so damn weird. I'm gonna stick around a bit and make sure you don't bail. Yeah, yeah, old man. Ticket number is 68. So he's actually going to the show. Okay. Okay. Dude's come back for his coat. Okay, which one was that? Dude is 67. Okay. Oh, you gotta talk to me. Whoa, do that! It's a little too intense for me right now. You can grab my sport utility vest, Lady Coat Ballet. Ticket is 67. Yep, you got it. Yeah, I got code 67. Yeah! Yeah, that's my jacket. And you didn't tip me, you mother... Oh, you... Wanker! Wanker! Oh, we got a new guy. You've been here all, all night. Any fine hines walking through here yet? You're actually a nice looking piece yourself. I'm down to get down if you know what I mean. Haha, <laughs> sure. They're all waiting, bro. 16, oh damn it, why did it have to be? Okay, 69th right guy. I'm gonna put him where 67 was. So hit the desk. This is, I don't think I could be a real hat check person or a code check person. This is just, oh, you look scary. Why? True love is devoid of all superficiality, but all attraction is based on it. And how do you explain love at first sight? Um, uh, what? I'll let you figure that one out. You're taking number 70. Okay, I'm gonna hang that up at behind number Okay, okay, we're, we're going good, we're going good. Oh, that Viper. Man, Viper, get the hell out of here. Hey, you, Sarah. What's shaking? Working hard, I see. Viper. Oh, really? I gotta... 71 is behind that. Oh wait, he was coat. So he's the third one. Oh, I gotta talk to him. There's no sandwiches in there. Give me my coat back. 70 is my ticket. I am good at a coat check person. Take this, won't you? It's always a good time to invest in a sandwich. Wow. Uh, thanks. It's a weird town. Oh, the old man. What's the old man? 68. Okay, the old man was 68. The noise is awful. My ears ring. 
Wait for it at the apartment and beg, borrow, or steal. You better have my cash. Ticket 68. Alright. Here you go, sir. See you later, deadbeat. Oh, man. So. We got another coat. Oh man, I'm gonna dance till my feet give out. We're gonna burn up the Fortnite, babe. You go, girl. 72. I'm gonna put that behind. 66. I thought I'd better pay like 400 bucks. I gotta tell you right now. I'm so stressed out about this. Another guy. Oh, we're running out of room for a coat. He's not even wearing a coat. Is he like... Have yeah, you seen my girlfriend pass through here? She's really pretty and thinks she might be here with another man. Uh, I'm gonna say go find out. Because this is gonna be fun. Go find out. Hey, good luck, buddy. Code ticket number 73. So we're going to hang up 73, 5, 72, 73 on the right side. I'm trying to keep this in order. Yeah, I don't think how you could get this without cheating. I've still got a code. I'm not sure what I did. Oh, another guy. Well, hey, well, hey there, fellow cool person. I heard this place was a cool hangout and possibly a good place to buy some sweet illegal drugs. <laughs> that was his choice. There's two choices. Are you a cop or are you a cop? We're going to go with the first one. Are you a cop? What? That's crazy. No, I'm just an average coolster like yourself looking to score some sweet illegal drug. You're a cop, sir. No cops here, fellow coolian. Well, all right, then. Number 74. Number 74, the cop in the back left. Hang up code number 74. Okay, who's that girl? The, the, she was a dance girl. Oh man, I'm getting confused. Ouch, ouch, ouch! Oh, I twisted my ankle thanks to my stupid heel. That's the second coat. Oh my god. I'm tripping out. Okay, there we go. Oh, thanks. Oh. I'm not got tipped once. I don't even remember you, dude. Oh, you're a frat boy. Oh, you're a frat guy. Okay. You see some girl limping out of here? Let me get my coat so I can catch up. So I gotta help her off her feet, if you know what I mean. 69, please. Okay. There we go. Yep. Still got my condoms. Wow. See you later. Oh, it's nice work if I do say so myself. I'm gonna click my tips and check out the concert. They left me $90 in tips. So, ooh, we're halfway there. Yeah! Some nervous for my baby. Good thing I took my medicine. I can't live without me. I'm his medicine and he is mine. Okay, Courtney. Kick ass. I love this new age crap. Hipster music rules. Feel a cool person? I am still looking to score some sweet illegal drugs. Know any other cool people? 
Answer me, baby! My, my space is melting from speed rock and roll, baby! This guy's guy kind of creepy. Oh, there's our friend Haley. Let's go say hi to Haley. I feel amazing! Best happy pills ever! I'm glad I did not kill you. I'm about to snap. I'm sure how much more I can take. This is these days. They just don't get it. It's about the heart and the soul. I'll make a comeback one day. I promise you that. It's strong for life. What can I get for you, babe? I need. I can't spend any money. I need it. Not good. For some reason I wanted to check out the bathroom. I don't know why. I'm not gonna get up on stage, I'm not gonna ruin his stuff though. Let's get out of here. So we're rocking it tonight. Oh good touch. Do you love that sound that's a good soundtrack? But I think we've done all we can here. So, go on! Go on! I'm just going to play through the first day here. But I really want to continue a let's play on this. Because make this into a let's play. This is pretty awesome. It's getting late. Leave the concert? Yes. Oh, it's night now. We don't have quite enough. It's getting freely and I'm bay. I should count my pennies and see if I can get my rent paid. Got 188 bucks to pay the rent. Oh no. That's not enough to get me back in my bed. Maybe I can scratch together a few more bucks, but it looks like I'll be sleeping under the stars tonight. Find a comfy street mattress. Actually. Uh... Oh, that's this is creepy raccoon. Do you have a key to Kaylee's flat? Oh, I don't like this. This. Oh, it's you. Hi there. Thanks again for getting me here. This pill is so good. Hey, are you alright? I'm fine, I'm fine. I just, the color's so loud, you know. It feels like they're coming out of me or in me or I don't. Rook! Oh, oh man. Oh, look, baby. I don't feel so good right now. Not nah, too many to eat. Tomorrow, I'll show you, yeah. Um, okay. Bye bye for now. Oh, the key fits, but the deadbolt's on. Was someone in there? Haley's right there. Maybe tomorrow. I gotta find a. Oh, that's some bull. Okay. Uh oh. A street mattress, huh? Oh no. If I can call her a key. Got a place to stay tonight, man. He's the king of good times. The message. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. This is Viper. I'm screaming my calls. Cut it out because I'm not answering. Not answer. Oh man. Hi, scary person. I'm going to speak very slowly so you're sure to understand what I'm saying. Go away. Alright. I'm a loss of what to do. Hey girl, what's new? It's been a long day, Bellinger. I'm beating heading to bed, wherever that may be this evening. If you can't get back in your apartment, I'm sure you can always find a dirty mattress somewhere in town. That is, you can find one. Guess Luke the East moved a bunch of the local vagabonds over to our side of town. 
He said nice now, but I don't even more likely to share the squatting spot. But maybe I can I'm gonna try maybe I can work a deal. Come on. I'm gonna talk to him. Maybe I can work something out. I'm gonna try to work something out. Oh, please. Hey, can we talk? I have about 175 bucks for rent. Sorry, about 175 won't cut it, deadbeat. We want to go find a mattress to go sleep on outside. Ah! Alright. God. There's a mattress there. What am I going to see? That's not cool. They need help in here, so maybe find a job. What can I get you? I'll have... I have a water. <laughs> One water coming up. Yeah, I'm not too happy about that. I guess we can't... Can't get that job yet or it must be more in the evening time. Okay. Uh, I'm homeless right now, so might as well. I'll have a rum and coke. Rum and coke coming up. Can I get you? I'll have a beer. Yeah, go figure. And beer coming right up. I'm not getting drunk. I don't think that's getting on this anywhere. Check our stamina, everything. So, 3A. And 160 bucks. Oh, I don't want to do this. I want to sleep on a mattress. Outside my apartment. Oh god. Can dangerous and sanitary. Should sleep here tonight. Well, I'm gonna have to sleep outside, I guess, cause I don't know what else to do. Well, hopefully I won't die in my sleep. Oh, that scares me. Oh my god, did I die in my sleep? Oh. Was this a flashback? Ooh, flashback. I like flashback. Apparently we used to live in a nice place. Something apparently happened. <laughs> Sir, is that you? Alex! I'm out on the balcony. Wow, we had a nice house. Well, look who's an early riser this morning. Are you okay? Do you sleep alright? I can't remember the last time you were up this early. Very funny. I sleep better if you didn't rock the bed so much when you got up. Fatty. Oh, I'll go in my pants. I'm sorry. It's not even that early, though. Most people in the world get up before noon. You notice they can go to work? Ugh. Don't start on me already. My mom already gave me an earful last night. Oh, relax, Sarah. You know you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Mom's just worried about us, that's all. The contract's gonna come soon. Don't stress out. Well, um, right, and once it does, we'll be able to move back to Dubstown, start a new life together. I just hate waiting is all. So we're living with Mom. Oh, God. I know, me too, but what else can we do, though? I don't get real jobs. Just relax, take it easy. Your time is coming sooner than you think. You're right, I'm ready for this. Things gonna work out just fine. One day we'll look all back on all this and laugh. That's the spirit. Now give me a kiss before you get coffee breath. Aww. There's a fresh pot downstairs if you want some. I love you too. 
Uh, I don't want to go to work today. Yeah, but at least you're getting paid. I'm starting to forget what money even looks like. Well, that reminds me. I left 20 on your typer in case you wanted to order a pizza or something. Your mom complained about the leftovers? I thought they were fair game. She wanted to take them with her to today. You know she hates flying on an empty stomach. Right, I forgot. We have to place all to ourselves. Don't get too excited. Orders came from on high. It's overtime season. You might be on your own for a few nights. Oh, well, there go my plans. Oh, don't be so desperate. I know you hate it when I work late. So here, I may do this. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. That will get me through the night. Well, there go my new plans. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm going to share this with your co-workers. Alright, three. What the hell? That's a weird house. It's a weird house. Oh, what's that? Good morning, Casey. Good morning, Tara. You know what happened to the sausage I left in here the other day? I can't for the life of me find them anywhere. Uh. I'm gonna cough up me. The former plan is kind of a goodie. I ate them. Yeah, I ate them yesterday. I'm sorry. Just couldn't save any for me, could you, fatty? Pick something up at the airport, I guess. You'll give us a call when you land, right? It's a military base, Sarah. I'm pretty sure I won't be allowed to. So that they won't be gone too long. It's fair what's going on with the scanners and why the EM readings at the poles are so strange lately. I'll be home in no time. Do me a favor and help out, Alex. I don't want to thaw out in a messy house. You sure you're up for the Antarctica? Screw Alex, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah, yeah, butter me up. But don't worry so much. I wanted to do this. I gotta show them I'm worth the expense, right? You just keep your head in that book of yours. I hope that contra contract you've been waiting on will come before I get back. Tell me about it. Up, oh, that's the car. That's my ride. See you when I see you, Sarah. Alex, I'm leaving. Come say goodbye. Shit, already? I'm in the bathroom. Hold on a sec. He's rubbing one out. I gotta go, Alex. They're waiting on me. Be good. I love you. Mom, wait, I'm here. So without saying goodbye? Yeah, the car was gonna leave. Don't worry, Alex. Your mom's one tough lady. She'll be fine. Yeah, I guess you're right. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh well. I gotta get to work before I'm late. You'd be good, my brilliant little writer. You just go and have a good day at work. I love you. Love you too. Aw. Give me a call if the contract comes, alright? Yeah, for sure. Apparently somehow I fuck this up. Oh, I wanna get that 20 bucks on the typewriter though. That earlier experience has made me... Where the hell does she have a typewriter? I'll play games later. Right now I need to go check the mail. But... I'll go outside later. I gotta feel like my contract may have arrived. Where's the typewriter? He said it left 20 under the typewriter. That's what I'm concerned with. I seriously want that 20 bucks. <laughs> it's like, I was in a room? Hmm. It's on those rooms, those wannabe rooms. Ah, 20 bucks under the typewriter. Ooh, looks like someone left some money for me. 20 bucks. 
Yay! I can send that to my future self. Let's go check the mail. Maybe that is the contract. I have a feeling it's not, though. Hmm. What do we have here? Pizza Lamar, San Fernando's finest. 20% all pickup orders. The best deal in town. Hmm. San Fernando pizza. This is it! Oh, here's looks like our contract. Holy shit! I can't believe the contract's here! Oh yeah, you gotta call Alex. Oh no. Yes, I understand. Yes, I know. Yes, you explain. It's just that we're sort of a team, you know? Two halves of a whole, peas in a pod. You know what I mean, right? It's just really important to me. I understand, sir. Oh. Hmm. Oh, this is a moral gray area now. Sam's your partner, but the facts are the guys upstairs only like your pieces. Times are getting tough, too. You know, business ain't what it used to be. You just don't have the money to spare on both of you. You can't afford to keep everyone you want. Oh. Frack. Frack. Oh man, I gotta... Oh. Look, take as long as you want to think about it. The deal stands as we sent it. Always will. We'll fund you for the next six months so you can finish what you started. Then we go to print. You sure you can keep up with that kind of pace? Yeah, don't worry. Great, then take as long as you want to think about it and give me a call once the papers are signed. Then I get my wife on my back and we can go for a celebratory drink. Oh, I'm going to sell my friend to get that contract. Oh. That sounds... That's it. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, I'll wait for your call. Speak with you soon, Sarah. Oh, man, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? This is everything I've ever wanted, right? Is he the devil? What should I do? Oh. Oh man, I don't know. I need this money. I need this contract. We need to get that back to Dubstown. I can see that kind of didn't go so well, but oh, I'm gonna sign the contract. They don't like his pieces anyway. It would just be screwing me. Sign the contract. I need this deal. It's the right thing to do. I'm sorry, Sam. Oh man, I feel bad. Up. Oh, and I. Okay, now on day two. Whoa, that dream felt so real. Ugh. Far from reality, though. I wonder what he's doing now. I'm going to start writing my journal again. Okay, guys, there you have it. That was day one of Always Sometimes Monsters. God, this is a great game. I totally recommend this. I almost it's one of my top games of the year so far, I think. I just really love it. It's just got a great story. The choices actually do affect stuff. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, guys, be, look, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, Stay tuned for my next Let's Play that's coming up pretty soon because I think I'm really going to get into this. Really going to get into this. So, alright guys, I'm going to talk to you guys later.